today's video is going to be an easy one. I have made this print sheet and there is actually something at the bottom of the print sheet, but we don't need that today. It's only these pieces here. So first of all, I cut some out to just like uh, you see me do here, everything together in a thick strip. We are going to make serpentines for New Year's today. I know it's still Christmas, but New Year will come up, so here they are. So cut out a few of these bigger strips and go ahead and cut out somewhere. You cut the thin strips here, like I do right here, just the thin pieces of them, because we need them as well. I cut out, I, I cut out a few of these and I am curling them with a toothpick and in one end I am putting a tiny bit of glue on the inside. I'm not gluing it to the stick but to itself. And then I'm just carefully rolling it up on this little toothpick. It can be a bit tricky but it is actually uh, manuable. It's possible. I think that's a better word for it. Anyway, just take your time with this. When I come to the end of the roll, I am again using some of my paper glue here and just putting a tiny bit of glue on there so I can uh, close this little roll of serpentines. And I am using some uh, foil here that is just some regular food foil. Um, I don't know what that's called in English, but uh, you use it for fruit. Anyway, I'm cutting out a tiny, tiny piece of this and rolling it around this little roll of serpentines, just like this. And I am cutting a tiny bit of the end and popping the rest of this um, foil into the tube with the toothpick. And there you have a roll of serpentines, just a tiny one. To make uh, the turpentines where you see them are lying on the table, I am first of all taking a piece of this. This one broke, so I'm taking another one and I'm curling it with my toothpick. And I'm first of all making a loop on this end of this uh, long strip here and I'm gluing the loop. I'm just rolling it so that I get the loop that I want here. And then I am gluing the loop uh, so that it has a loop on one end, just like the real ones would have. And I know it's kind of hard to see, but after rolling the little or making the little loop, I am uh, going to twist this little piece of paper around uh, the toothpick just keeping a, some kind of tension for it. I'm sorry I'm so down the picture right here, but when I'm working, I'm just concentrating totally on what I'm doing and totally forgetting everything about the camera. But there you go, and then you just slide it off the pin and you have a certain sign. That's all for today. I will see you tomorrow. Happy crafting.